So this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Today I'm just going to run through a very basic beginning calculation of how to value a commodity swap. Perhaps a little bit exotic, but maybe there's someone out there who is looking to, to do it. So uh, just beginning here with pricing commodity swap, uh, let's just say we want to do silver. I'm going to pick figures right from my head at the moment, and you can always check them on Bloomberg or when you're doing it you can use uh, live pricing on the Bloomberg API or whatever but for the time being we just take, keep it simple and we say that we want to buy silver at a price of say $40 an ounce for the next three years because I've got three columns here and um, and the swap price is just the price that you want to buy it at so we can do 40, 40, 40. Now we need to be able to replicate the portfolio in order to price the swap effectively. So you want to look at the forward prices one year, two year, and three years out. So let's say that's 39.2, uh, 39.8, and uh, or let's let's change this a little bit actually. Let's just say the forwards are quite far out for whatever reason. 38 and 50, uh, 41. Just so that we can highlight how these are actually getting priced. That's why I've made such a big difference between the. Um, anyway, so um, the difference is quite literally just the short price minus the long forwards. And I've done the same here. And same. So notice we got two positive and one negative. Next move is to calculate the present value. In order to do that, we want to calculate a the discount rate. So um, instead of using 10 bips, which is like the three month yield, we're just going to use 2.5 percent, just so I can highlight the uh, pricing efficiencies of it. So um, uh, the present value, we want to take the present value of the difference. So we divide that by 1 plus the risk rate to begin with. In the second one, we divide the difference by 1 plus discount rate to the power of 2. And then in the third one, we can almost just drag it across, put this here. And because it's the third year, we just take the 3. And value of the swap is just the sum of the present values of the difference between the long forwards and the agreed swap price. And that's the value of the swap at the moment, 4.8775. So good luck with pricing your commodity swaps. And uh, as I said, this model can be elaborated, so the next step that you would want to do, um, if you wanted to, would be to find the price at which no neither party has to lay down any money to buy the swap. So, thank you very much for watching, and best of luck.